Nice. How's this? Very nice. Yes. Sure. So, different materials produce different weapons, each with their own respective properties. We should probably move on. Come to think of it, what's my sword made of? What material would it make sense with? Claws? Fangs? In one ear and out the other. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. I feel like somebody's watching us. Maybe there's someone around here who needs our help. <laughs> what? So sure.
Mhm. Mhm. Yeah. Hmm? What? Shion, why do you keep people at arm's length? <laughs> You're always trying to wave it off whenever someone's nice to you. Like with Tilsa just now, why couldn't you just accept her gratitude? Our interests just happen to overlap. I don't want people thinking I'm doing things to be nice when in reality they benefit both of us. All I care about is that we hurry up and defeat the Lords. See? That's what I mean! <laughs> you want to defeat the Lords. I may have been skeptical at first, but now I really believe you meant it. Yet despite that, you still took the time to help out those injured Danans, didn't you? I did it because it was necessary and I got roped into helping out. Is that the same reason you helped that kid in Balsif's castle? Because it sure didn't look that way to me. 
You've helped me too. Not just with my injuries, but by being there for me as well. Even though I can't feel pain, the injuries I get from using the Blazing Sword could probably kill me. That thought alone should be terrifying. But I know you'll always be there by my side, ready to heal me. It's because of you that I can wield the Blazing Sword! <laughs> Don't just close in on me like that! <laughs> if you get any closer, you're going to set off my thorns, you know. I was just trying to compliment you. You... were? <sighs> what now? Sion! Your thorns! It's okay. I'll stop talking about it. You... you will? In any case, I'm just glad that you're the one who ended up with the Master Core. Thank you, Xion, for everything. <sighs> now let's go check out those Gates of Fire. <sighs> really? I swear. You're bad for the heart. Off we go. I don't see any soldiers or their pet zoogles. Just strays roaming around. They must have split once Balsef kicked the bucket and they had nobody left to obey. An opponent like this should be easy. Where are you going? Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Xion. Our eyes on the prize. An opponent like this should be easy. Ray. <laughs> Rising Wyvern! Mirage! Here I come! It's over! Here I come! It's over! Demon Nicely done, Xion. You're slapping. Step it up! Uh, yep. Yeah. You got it. Looks like it could be worth something.
That monster that appeared from the spirit vessel, and the power inside the blazing sword, they're both born of the same thing. It's all astral energy harvested from the souls of dying Danans. I suppose so. And it was the Danans who gave their lives for today. Their power, after all this time, is what finally destroyed Balsif and his wall. By the way, what happened to all the energy that we released? It's dispersing and spreading across Dana as we speak, finding its way back to where it belongs. And all the energy the Renans have harvested? Where does that go? One Sovereign's decided, I mean. I wager they don't give it back, right? <laughs> what? Can't tell the Dan in that? Or about why you want to kill all the lords? Oh, like you don't have anything to hide? The Blazing Sword. It's powered by the burning astral energy of the Master Core I possess. So why don't you explain how it manifested into the shape of that beast, hmm? Just how did you manage that? How am I supposed to know? My memory's a complete blank, remember? <sighs> <sighs> Fine, be that way. It's not like we ever trusted each other any... She's still not awake? Not yet. Her injuries aren't serious, but she's severely weakened. Must have been quite a fight. There's nothing we can give her? If only. What with the beatings we've taken lately? We're barely getting by on the little provisions we have as it is. That bad, huh? If there are no supplies here, then... That's it. We need Doc. Doc? The same Doc that took care of you? Yeah, he's back in Mosgul. If anyone can help us, it's him. In that case, would you mind asking for us? I'd go myself, but I'm tied up here for now. Not a problem. Leave it to me. I wonder what that girl's deal is. Never imagined anyone would ever come from outside the walls of Calaglia. It's really not that big of a deal. There are more realms out there than just Calaglia, you know. Maybe it sounds normal to you, but I've been behind those walls for as long as I can remember. Of course I knew there was more out there, but it sure didn't feel like it when unscalable walls are trapping you in. I hate to burst your bubble, but the rest of Dana isn't much better. The world's full of lords who are just as bad as Balsef. I know. That girl must have had her reasons for coming over to our territory. Even so, it's nice to see there really is life beyond the walls of Calaglia. It might not mean much to you, but that's reason enough for me to be happy. I'm skeptical. Right. Mm -mm. Hmm? Hmm. All right.
Got it. used to fire by now. going to be whipped or killed here ever again. Hey there, Doc. Hmm? Who are you? It's me, Iron Mask. Though these days I go by Alfin. I finally remembered my name. Alfin? I heard that was the guy who brought down Balsif. Wait, you're telling me you're the liberator of Calaglia? Our own Iron Mask? Of all the people. I told you, I'm Alfin now. And I didn't overthrow Balsef alone. Even so, that's no small feat you've accomplished. And you managed to get your face back, too. That woman with you, the Renin? You know about her. Only what I've heard from rumors. I wasn't sure I believed it. But now I suppose I must. Doc, she... Thank you. You sure you should be saying that to a Renan? I'm not saying it to any old Renan. I'm saying it to you, young lady. I only helped because it was in my interests as well. Of course, I would imagine as much. But that doesn't change the end result. The two of you defeated Balsef, and now all of us are free. That is a fact. Thanks, Doc. I should be the one thanking you. I'll never be able to repay what you two have done. Anyway, I'm guessing you didn't come here just to catch up. Uh, right. We need your advice. We found a girl who's collapsed from exhaustion, and she needs medicine. Do you know anything that could help? Hmm. If she's that weak, she may need a nutritional boost. The herbs I have here won't be enough. Oh, have you tried searching Kirt Garrison? No, we passed it on our way here, but... With all the Renin soldiers gone, that place should be empty now. If we're lucky, maybe they left something you can use. Good idea. We'll take a look. Kirt Garrison. If I'm not mistaken, that's located off to the side of the railroad tracks. Wherever it is, just make it quick. You look happy. Do I? I guess I am. Getting thanked for everything by someone I actually know? It made it really hit home that we made a difference. That guy's a strange one, though. Doc? I don't think he's that odd. He is, though. He thanked me, a Renan, for helping, despite everything my people have put him through over the years. He's free now. He doesn't have to act nice around my kind. He's not acting. He means it. And like he said before, he was thanking you as an individual, Xion, not just some Renan. That's what makes it so strange. Would you have preferred he yelled and threw rocks at you? I'm not saying that. It's just hard for me to understand him. <sighs> We've reached our destination.
Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Right, here we go! Demon Fang! Spirit Flame! Mega Ray! Shadow right. Aqua! They can't lay a finger on you. I prefer it that way. What about you? Just watch. This could be useful. Together, that wasn't even a problem. No choice. You're mine. Here I go. Demon Fang. It's over. It's Who over. Die next? It's over. Demon Fang. Together, that wasn't even a problem. No choice. Demon Fang! Flame of Fury! Throw it! You're finished! Here, Here I come! Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Xion. A blip on our radar. Get lost! Burn it! Come and face me! Well, we're on the home stretch now. Don't take your eyes off. I'm quite aware without you remind me. Barely a blip on our radar. What's this thing? Too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought.
think this is it? How would I know? It matches the description we were given, at least. No use standing around here hemming and hawing. Let's take it back and see. I hope you're right. There's no way I'm coming all the way back here. Just to be safe, I think before we head back to Ulzebek, we should maybe have Doc double check this is the right stuff. All right, but let's make it quick. Did you find anything useful? We think this might work, but we wanted you to take a look at it first. Let's see. Ah, this stuff. Yes, this'll work. I'd hurry over and give it to the girl right away. Right, then we'll do that now. Say, Iron Mask. No, sorry. It's Alfin now, right? Are you and that young woman planning to stick together moving forward? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hmm, I see. You know, I think things just might be starting to change. What do you mean? I'm not sure of that myself. But I feel like after being stalled for a long time, the gears of progress are finally starting to turn again. I imagine people are going to have things to say about the two of you. But you simply keep doing what you feel is right. If you ever get tired and need to rest, feel free to come back here. Until then, take care of yourself. Thanks, Doc. We go. Is this what you asked for? Perfect. That'll do nicely. I had a feeling you'd come through for us. 
With this, the little one should be right as rain in no time. I can't believe it. Not often we get visitors from Cislodia around here. Cislodia? Calaglia's neighbor. One of the five realms. What with that wall in the way, I guess it's not surprising. But I've never actually met someone from the outside world before. Up till now, the only time the gates ever opened was to let Renan convoy units in and out. No one ever thought to stow away and hitch a ride out? This place might be a living hell, but when next door is a living hell too, you start thinking it doesn't matter much one way or the other. So you're Rinwell, and you're with the Cislodian Resistance known as the Silver Swords. Your organization sent a group of you to establish contact, but you're the only one who made it through. That sound about right? Lately, our people's oppression has become more and more severe. When we heard rumors that you had staged a successful rebellion in Calaglia, we hoped that maybe you could help us. News sure gets around quickly, huh? If you ask me, it's awfully convenient she just happened to show up now. Certainly raises a lot of red flags. Please, I swear it's true! My people are dying! I risked my life trying to get here so I could find help. It's okay. You did well. We'll take it from here. <laughs> Hold on, Zephyr. You're not really thinking... We'll join her. Alfin, start getting ready. I let you use the Blazing Sword, and we work together to overthrow the Lords. That was the deal, remember? Wait, is that a Renan? What is this? Take it easy. It's complicated, but she's on our side. She helped to find some medicine for you. She did? But no, she's a... I, I can't believe it. The Renans from other realms could attack at any time. That's for you all to worry about. I've got bigger fish to fry. That sword of Alfin's is our best weapon. We can't just go lending him to other lands. Even if you keep him here, the blade's as good as useless without me on board. And what makes you think I can't persuade you, Bright Eyes? What makes you think you can? Last I checked, you couldn't even touch me. Enough! Alfin, what do you want to do? I... I know all too well the hardships the slaves of this realm had to endure. That's why I took up the sword. To help them. If Danans are being oppressed in other realms, then... then I have to help them, too. Nath has a point. We can't discount the possibility of further attacks. But now, our struggle has grown. It's become much larger than just liberating the people of Calaglia. We can't be in two places at once, Zephyr. True. Which means we're limited in our options. We play this the same way we did with Balsef. I have a bad feeling about this. You and me both, but it's too late for regrets. Jeez, really? You don't say. So, you're really going, huh? Just the four of you? Uh, afraid so. Look after the place while we're away. <laughs> Always the smooth talker. We'll do what we can to hold down the fort. We've got the Renans to keep us busy. Good luck. Just remember. Yeah, yeah, don't go killing anyone without good reason, I get it. I'm not about to repeat what they did. Let's move, people.
do you think we'll really be able to wipe the Renans off the face of Dana? Who said anything about doing that? But we have to in order to survive. Don't we? Now that you have the Blazing Sword, and have shown that we really can win this fight, do you really think we should go around killing every last Renan? But what else are we supposed to do? Say we go around killing Renans, so they don't kill us first. In turn, that'll just make more and more of them want to kill us. Where does it end, once you enter such a vicious cycle? Is that why you told Grenar not to kill any Renans without a good reason? I'm not saying we should forgive and forget what they've done to us. But we can't let ourselves be dragged down by our own hatred, either. Hatred comes in many forms. And there's no one solution that will work in every situation. We have to keep searching for new ones if we're going to survive. It's a lifelong journey, finding the answers. That goes for you, too. You have to come up with your own answers. Hey, Zephyr. Why do you keep fighting? What do you mean? Until I met you and the Crimson Crows, all the Danans I ever knew just accepted their lot in life as slaves. Hell, even I was like that. But all of you in the Resistance are different. Even when you have no hope of winning, you keep on fighting. Why is that? Come on, that's an easy one. I just refuse to live life as a slave, that's all. Better to die fighting for freedom than to live as a slave, huh? Let me ask you a question, Alfin. What does it mean to you to not be a slave any longer? I guess... it means living a life not being ruled by the Renans, right? But what about the Danans who died standing up to the Renans? Are they still slaves? <sighs> Would they be truly free if all they did was follow my orders and die without knowing what it was they were doing? But that's... Being a slave isn't just a position. It's also a state of mind. Don't become my slave, Alfin. are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Pathetic! What's that over there? Some kind of castle? Yeah, one that belongs to a different lord than Balsef. Right, that makes sense. You said there were five of them in all, right? Right. We've still got a lot of work ahead of us. What's this thing? Rinwell, right? It's nice to meet you. Does that little white animal follow you everywhere? He's not a little white animal. His name's Hoodle, and he's a baby owl. Huh. And he's the only friend I have. Normally, I don't Demon pick on the weak. You're mine! Ha -ha. You're mine! I'm on it! You're finished! You're surrounded! Just you stay calm! Well, we're, we're on the home stretch You're now. Finished. Don't take your... Uh, We've got flyers! I've got you! you. All yours! Everything's coming up, Zephyr! Oh, 
the trash. Pick it! Burning! It's trash. over! Come one, come all! Well, we're on the home track now. Don't take your eyes off the prize. I'm quite aware without you reminding me. We're in good form! Dispose of the trash. Burning I'll take you all off. Take it. It's over. By the power of water. We did it. These little ones Dig are hardly bank. worth our time. Less Let talking, go. more pummeling. Only getting cut them Tell apart to your heart. Another notch in the old belt. Keep them coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? Huh. I think I could get used to it. Worked up, Hoodle. Is that? Watch out! They know we're here. Flying Zoogles, huh? This is going to get interesting. They're nothing I haven't seen before. Sion! I'll shoot them down. You finish them off. Got it? Knock a flying enemy out of the sky, and it's as good as done. Right. See what I can do. Take it! One more! See your flyers! These are all you, Shion! Demon Fang! Flame of Fury! What you See ya! What was it those Zoogles were attacking just now? What? It's nothing. I only helped because it was convenient. We couldn't have moved forward without clearing out those Zoogles. <laughs> I don't know what's got you ticked off at me this time, but I suggest you keep your hands away from me. No one asked you to help. Rinwell, she healed its wounds. She's not trying to hurt it. How can you be so... like they're talking to each other. He's probably happy to see another owl. I don't think Hoodle's ever met one before. He might have been wondering if he was the only one. Oh! You just barely got to say hi. At least we know it's out there. I'm sure we'll run into it again somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Right, Hoodle? Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. I'm always impressed how good of a shot you are, Shion. What do you mean? Just that all I'm good for is throwing myself at things with all my might. By comparison, your way is more... how do I put it? Precise. It's not like I'm that good of a... <sighs> Look, that's just how it is with guns. If you miss, it's a wasted bullet you can't get back. Is that why you're always aiming to exploit enemies' weak spots? I wouldn't say every shot is that deliberate, but that is part of it. For example, if I see a flying enemy, I'll often go for their wings. 
Also, if I see a jumping enemy without wings, I know they're an easy target because they can't get out of the way while in the air. In your case, I bet it's easier for you to deal with enemies that stay on the ground, right? Definitely. Things that can fly circles around me are a real pain to deal with. Exactly. It's important to keep your enemy's movements in check. True. Although your shots have the added benefit of stunning enemies, so it's easier to swipe materials from them. And it's really helped out. It's nothing, really. As long as you keep doing your part when we fight, I'd say we're even. What are you staring for? Do all Danon fighters look like you? What, this getup? I pulled this number together from scrap and parts I salvaged throughout the years. Though now I'm feeling self-conscious, seeing how put together you seem to be. Oh, oh no, I was just curious. Did you fortify your right side more because that's your dominant side? Partly but mostly because my body's a little worse for wear after all these years fighting. That makes sense. So you take extra care to protect your dominant side with more armor. Smart. Is fighting all you think about? All right, guys. Ready to go?